Hi guys and welcome back to 3 Layers Deep. So I decided to do a tutorial today. I've been kind of doing tutorials lately. I'm on the roll with the tutorials, huh? Um, but this one's different. This one is like very laid back, easy, breezy, cover girl, no sir. It's just a very easy to, you know, look to do. I only used, a, you know, like two or three different eyeshadows, maybe two. Three, including the one that I applied under my um, lash line but it's just to kind of how to not how to but like to amp up your neutral looks you know your neutral looks don't have to be you know boring they don't have to just consist of just color on you know on the lids and keeping everything else kind of simple around the eyes you know you can make a neutral eye look pop with you know um adding a wing liner you know or even adding some color just like a pop of color especially for those of you guys who are maybe scared to use bright colors um you can kind of like you know do baby steps by adding a little bit of color um as a pop under your lash line so this is kind of what i did today um, this is what it looks like. See, as you can see, I have a little bit of orange going down under the lash line. Just a very nice uh, pale yellow shimmery color on the lid. And just a nice subtle brown color on the crease. And I didn't even add any highlight. I just kind of brought it up to right there and I just buffed it out with, you know, um, a brush. So... Yeah, if you are interested on how I got this look, then go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Okay, guys, so that's the look right there. It's beautiful, it's simple, it's easy, it's quick, and I'm going to show you just how to do it. Okay, so first off, I prime my eye using um, Painterly Paint Pot. You can use whatever you like. Now, as for the first color that I'm going to use is this one right here. It's from MAC. It's a very, like, um, shim shimmery color with some yellow undertones. And it looks gorgeous on those of us who have, um, you know, yellow undertones, obviously. So you're going to go ahead and put that all over the lid. Now you're going to go ahead and blend using your favorite brush. And make sure that you go all the way up to about the crease with that. Now you're going to go in with like a mid-tone brown that has kind of like grayish undertones. It's more like a light to medium brown. And that's going to go right on your crease. And you're just going to bring it up right to this area right here, okay? Go ahead and blend it out. And we will not be using a highlight color. Over here we don't have no highlight color. I just went ahead and I applied my Painterly Paint Pot all the way up and around because we are going to be applying some color as you can see. So that's it. That's why I made it really, really simple. It's a quick, easy um, look to do when you still want to look put together but you don't have a lot of time um, to devote to your makeup. You can go ahead and do this and apply a pop of color on your lower lash line and you're good to go. Okay? So now we're going to go ahead and apply um, color right to the lash line. And I'm going to be using, again, from the, from the Sleek palette, um, the Divine palette. I'm going to go ahead and use that orange right there, which is a very vibrant orange. You can't really tell, see that well right now, I guess. It doesn't look that vibrant, but it's a nice vibrant orange, and it's not going to look that vibrant under the eye. Like, you're going to see it. But it's not going to look so um, pow in your face because I'm not using like a sticky base under it. So if you want it to really stand out more than it is right here, then you're going to have to use either a white base under it or something sticky like the Shell, um, what I love to use all the time, which is the Shell uh, cream color base. That would help it stand out just a bit more. But I don't want it to stand out that much. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, apply it nor like normally. Now you don't want to go all the way in because we're going to go ahead and apply that same color that we applied on the lid. You're going to apply it right in the tear duct area. I'm going to go ahead and just blend out that orange. Now with a detail brush you can go ahead and apply that nice shimmery yellow type of color in the tear duct area. Make sure it meets that orange. And just kind of blend it out a little bit. 
Okay, so we are going to be applying um, some brown liner to the top lashes as well as to the um, to the waterline. And what I'm using is the hip cream color base, the brown one, that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my waterline, um, do a winged liner, and then come right back. With just a touch of color on the lower lash line. Okay guys, so that was it. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you saw any like white stuff around like my hairline and the brows, that's like my, that's, I'm sorry, that's, it it'll probably look kind of gross, but that's um, my sunscreen <laughs> and um, it's the titanium dioxide that it has in it. It's actually a sunblock, not a sunscreen, so it tends to like leave white, like a white residue afterwards. So I have to like try to scrub it off all the time. I can't stand it. I love it, but I can't stand the after look. Anyways, so yeah, that was it. It was quick. It was easy. It was simple. A way to kind of amp up your everyday look. And um, yeah, as for the lips, what I actually used was, this is a gorgeous lip color. Look. Mm. <laughs> um, I for totally forgot I even had this, but it's from the Hibiscus. I'm sorry, not Hibiscus. The uh, Max Surf Baby Collection. And it's called Mocha. And this is such a pretty, pretty pretty that's not a word a pretty like brown kind of nude type of color it looks really really good for you latin chicks out there or any chick out there that has color you know yellow olive undertones this will look really really pretty and i love it i cannot believe i have not i think i wore it like a few times and i totally forgot i even had it so yeah it just kind of completed the whole look and it's the, i look put together not overly made up i'm gonna be going to the park with my daughter maybe i'll take some footage maybe i won't i'm not sure but yeah so i hope you guys have a great day and everything else i'll go ahead and put in the info box below god bless you guys bye